What is going on guys? How are you guys doing? Today I wanted to give you the tutorial as to how to do a um, how to do a layout on mobile devices. I know everybody's been asking for this, so uh, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and do that. But before we start, guys, um, remember uh, the, try to download Fonto, download photo layers, uh, background eraser, and uh, and power director. Download those four before you go ahead and uh, do the video, okay? Uh, once you guys do that, you can go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. And go ahead and get started, okay? Once you get those down, remember, photo layers, background eraser, power director, and fonto. Fonto is going to be for the fonts and stuff, so, okay? First thing you want to do, um, you want to go ahead and go into your browser, uh, go, uh, uh, go into your Google, google.com. Okay, go on to google.com and you're going to go into the search for google.com. Okay, you're going to search for either a 1920 by 12, uh, yeah, 1920 by 1080, okay, or, sh or, sh or uh, 1280 by 720. Uh, uh, look for wallpapers for those dimensions. Reason why is because you want to make sure that. Uh, that's going to be basically your size for the uh, for the layout. Uh, for uh, right now, I'm looking for 1280 by 720 in the in the video. So as you guys can see, um, we are looking for 1280 by 720. You can look for either two of those, 1920 by 1080, or uh, uh, 1280 by 720. Okay, that's very important. So you want to make sure you look for that. Just something, just a background to look for. So you just just want to look for a background. Uh, you go ahead, look into the background for the video. You, you look for the background, um, you click on, okay, you just click on the images that you want to see. A bunch of images will come up on your screen. Um, I'm, use, I'm doing this on my Android tablet, so your screen might be different from mine. Okay, I want to go ahead, uh, look for a background first that we like, um, that we want to use. Okay, alrighty, we're going to go ahead and uh, pick. I see a background already that I already like, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, choose that background, okay? Go ahead and choose the background there. Once we choose it, we're going to go ahead and take a uh, screenshot of it um, from your phone or your mobile device, whatever you have, okay? So go ahead and take a screenshot. Once you go ahead and take the screenshot, uh, you get out of browser, you go ahead into your gallery, okay? And go into your gallery. Uh, look for the picture you just took a screenshot of. Um, you're gonna see three little dots on the top right hand of your of your tablet or your phone. Uh, just hit crop. Okay, go ahead and you crop that uh, crop the image that you just took a screenshot of. Uh, you want to make it down to size. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now for this background. Okay, make sure once you get the size you want, uh, make sure there's no white showing. Go ahead and hit save. On the top left hand corner of your screen, I already saved my image. So we're going to get out of there. Okay, and what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and go into photo layers. Okay, photo layers, uh, select load a background image. Okay. The um, reason why we're going to go with photo layers, we're going to put all the stuff that we want on there. Uh, we're going to put our transparency, the box. Um, just take a picture of a box and and crop it just like you did uh, earlier. Um, just go ahead and hit done. Uh, hit 69. Make sure you hit 69. 16 uh, colon 9. And hit done. It's going to take you to another screen. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to add stuff on, on top of that background. We're going to add a photo. I make sure it's from the gallery. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, add my black box. I already had a preset black box in my uh, thing. All you have to do, guys, is just uh, pretty much do the same thing that I showed you earlier. Just uh, take a screenshot and uh, and just make a square rectangle. You're going to be adjusting it anyway, like you see here. You're going to see a lot of size handles and stuff. So go ahead and adjust it. Uh, just adjust it uh, as best as you can. Um, you have you can rotate it. You can do whatever you want with it. It's pretty cool. Um, uh, so 
you just have to take, you know, you really have to take time out to adjust things here. Uh, everything is very, very sensitive, so you might want to, you might have to play with the settings a little bit here. Uh, you have to play with everything, play with the settings, do what you have to do. I tried using Photoshop Touch, but I did not use it. I know everybody uses Photoshop Touch, but I had problems uh, uh, getting it on my device for some reason. So uh, that's why I'm showing you this way. I think it's the best way. All right, so we're going to go ahead. Uh, we already got everything adjusted for our center. Okay, you just make a black box, make a rectangle, a square. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't matter the size because you're going to readjust it here. Okay, uh, hit add photo again. Um, you're going to add your Twitter, um, add your YouTube. And the way to do that is you uh, make sure you go into Google again in your browser, uh, uh, search for YouTube PNG logo. It has to be a PNG file. Um, PNG is a transparent file, so you want to make sure that you go ahead and do that. So right now, I'm adjusting the YouTube logo that I'm doing right now, as you guys can see. Okay. Uh, hit done. And we're going to go ahead, and they have sizing tools all around uh, your logo. You can go ahead and uh, adjust it to your liking, whatever you want. You can make it big, small, however you like. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do that. Um, put our uh, put our logos. Uh, you can put your logos wherever you want on your background. It's it's your background. It's up to you. I just decided to put it on the lower uh, left hand side. So I'm going to go ahead into. We're going to hit add add photo again. I'm going to put my Twitch logo in there. I'll go ahead and uh, size up the Twitch logo. Make it a little bit smaller. And just use your crop uh, sizes. I have all the arrows around there, so you can crop it to the way you like. Uh, remember to hit done uh, once you're finished. Hit done. Uh, it'll appear on the screen. Then you go ahead and you uh, just adjust your sizes for the for your logo or whatever logo it is. Uh, Twitch, Twitter, whatever it is. I'm putting my Twitch logo in there right now. Now we go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and add one more. I'm going to add another photo here. Okay, I'm going to add one more photo here. I'm going to add one more photo. Go to your gallery, wherever you have your picture saved. I have mine in downloads. Um, mine, I already had it from the computer, and I, I put it on my tablet to so show you guys. Um, I'm, going to crop, uh, I'm going to crop this a little bit for the uh, Twitter logo. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit Done. Once you hit done, uh, go ahead and resize it just like you did the other two uh, logos. And go ahead and do that. Okay. Let's go ahead. You line it up. Like I said, you could uh, do whatever you like with it. You could line it up. You could put put the logos whatever you want. If you have custom logos, you could put your custom logo on there if you like. Um, whatever you want to do it is completely up to you guys. So just start try to size the logo up a little bit, you know, make it look, make it fit. Uh, just try to line up the Twitch logo a little bit. It doesn't matter how you line it up. You just you can just line it up however you want. Okay. Uh, once you do that, and you have everything you want uh, layered, all the layers you want on your background. Um, you just go ahead and hit the disk on the top right hand corner of your screen and hit save. So yes, this uh, this this program does take a little while to get used to. Uh, it hit, it'll ask you, "Sure, you want to save?" Just say yes, and it, what it's going to do is save everything that you did. Okay, and hit finish. Okay, once you hit finish, we are going to go into the next step right now, which is uh, we're going to go into eraser. We're going to go into background eraser right now. Reason why we want to go in background eraser because we want to uh, remember the back the black box we did in photo layers. We want to go ahead and make a transparency for that. Uh, the black box is basically going to be for your gameplay. That's where your game is going to be. Um, whatever game it is, whether it's Clash Royale, WWE Supercard, whatever it is, as long as it's a vertical game, it'll work fine. Um, just hit you just hit uh, hit done. Uh, make sure you hit 16.9. Uh, you don't have to hit it for this. I put the manual all the way up. I put the 
all the way to the R. Um, just remember to uh, just go manually erase it. Um, I try to do it auto, but unfortunately with this particular with this particular background, I had to. Uh, um, if you mess up, you could just hit repair. Um, they have all these little tools on the bottom. You can just hit repair. It's hard to do it with a, with with your uh, with your hands because you have to swipe to do everything. So it's really tough to do that. So I did mess up on it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, this is this is actually my first time doing a mobile layout on mobile device. So just go ahead and you fix your stuff. Um, and try doing something else, but uh, basically you want to go ahead and hit manual um, and then you're just going to try to erase that box with your finger the best you can and uh, you just go ahead and do that just erase all that stuff now you just want to basically make the middle transparent, that's the whole idea of uh, being a background eraser um, what that means is that you know once you put your game inside the middle and you, uh, it'll, it'll all like it'll come into play once uh, you put everything together for the uh, on the uh, power director. So, okay, just try your best to do it. It's really, really intricate. It's really hard to do, guys. Um, just try to. Uh, um, I like to do it manually because sometimes um, with certain colors it doesn't really work that well. So I have to do it manually. I'm trying my best to keep everything the same. I know everything looks kind of weird, but uh, that's the best that I can do it. So, as long as you make sure you get everything manually. Okay, I'm just trying to get everything pretty much squared away here. I took a little bit more off than what I did, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, if you if you mess up, you could just hit the repair button. The, re uh, the repair repair it will repair it again uh, for the thing that you erased. Um, I know I'm doing it manually, but I know most of you guys use the auto feature. The auto feature you can use. You can automatically just do it. But this is a darker color, so it was a little bit difficult for me to do. Okay. All right, once you get the transparency you want, uh, just go ahead and, uh, like, I just kept on messing up over here. I kept on messing up. So uh, it, it takes a little bit of patience to do this, guys. If uh, It's up to you if you guys want to do something like this. Um, but that's just my preference. Uh, my preference is, is try to use a lighter color and then use the dark and then just... Uh, and then uh, use the light background, a lighter background, because I, I ended up using a darker background in this video, as you guys can see. All right, we're going to go ahead. Um, once we get that transparency done, we're, we're good to go. Everything looks good the way I want it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit more. Uh, it's not the way I want it. You know, like I said, it's the first time I'm doing a, a mobile layout on a mobile device. So it's a little bit difficult for me to do it. So, okay. Um, you can you can manually uh, size up your, your eraser. Um, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. Um, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. Okay. So once you have everything that you want done, you just hit done. And then... Uh, And then uh, we could just hit, uh, go ahead and hit save. Once you go ahead and you do that, hit save, hit finish when you're done. Okay, and you get out of back, you get out of background eraser. Now the next step is we're going to go into fonts and we're going to put the fonts. We're going to put the wording in the, uh, the layout so it looks nice. Okay, and uh, you, you just load image from your device. We're going to load the same image that we did, that we just saved uh, from our, uh, we're going to go into, let's see. Um, we're going to save it in Eraser, go to our layout, go ahead, and we're going to put our um, fonts in now. We're going to put in our, our words. Uh, I want to put in my social media stuff, so you could you could align it the way you want. You could uh, you could pick up, they have plenty of fonts, you can choose some. Uh, you could even use your own, but I don't know how to do that yet. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and align it to the center. Okay, I'm going to put my first one. Uh, I'm going to just go to hit font, and you can select the font that you like. And go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, I'm going to choose... Bless you. Okay. I'm going to choose a permanent marker. That's the one I wanted to choose. So I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, Twitter... Uh, I'm going to put my Twitter uh, feed on there, Twitter information. Okay, once you get that, uh, just hit the size and go ahead and size it to the way you want. And I just want to size it to 30. Okay. All right, that's what we want to do. You could style it the way you want. You can move it, rotate it. If that's what's cool about Fonto. You could do a lot of cool stuff with it. Um, I've made a lot of uh, cool thumbnails with it, so you can do that as well. So pretty much all I'm doing is adding all my social media right now uh, for YouTube, Twitter, and for Twitch. So uh, just pretty much repeat the steps. Um, I'm going to want to do it at 30. Okay. And just put it right next to my logo here for YouTube. Okay. <coughs> Okay, that's the next, that's that. Okay, now I'm going to align this to the center again, and we're going to put our uh, Twitch, our, our Twitch uh, social media. We just pretty much do the same thing. We size it up the way you want to. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can line it up the however way you want, like I said. So, line it up. Just put, uh, I put crispy card on there. Everything is cool. You know, you could put, you could put, uh, you, you can put Supercar logo. You just download that as a PNG logo also. You can download whatever logos you need, with, uh, whatever game it is. Um, I'm going to put more text. I'm going to put, like, welcome to my channel. You could, uh, like I said, you, you could be very creative with it. You can do whatever you want. Um, go ahead and just uh, pick a font you want. Uh, we could tilt it. We could size it the way you want to do it. You can, uh, you can tilt it. Uh, you can tilt it. You could tilt it to slant a little bit. It's really cool. I thought that was a really cool feature. Okay, and uh, if you want, you just uh, keep hitting the pencil if you want to add uh, more uh, sayings or, or written stuff. You know, you could, you know, tell, you know, that I'm just pretty much going to write something, let the viewer know, hey, thanks for subscribing. Um, just putting something like that. This is just an example of, you know, you could do anything you want for this. You just uh, size it up. Okay, you just put that. You can put it however way you want. You could, you could tilt it, do whatever you like. Okay, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Something like that. You know, something eye popping that people will like. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, you can add your logos. You can add any logos from Clash, uh, Clash Royale, Clash of Clans. I'm sorry, Clash Royale or WWE Supercard, whatever you want to do. Um, but it, 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 it's up to you, whatever game that you're playing. So um, just go ahead and uh, hit the save button. Once you have all your, uh, once you have all your fonts in there, let's uh, go ahead and save it. Okay, go back to your photo layers if you want to add uh, more logos or whatever else. Um, if not, just uh, skip that step and then we're going to go ahead and show you how it's all done. Okay. And you could put more logos on there if you want. Just remember photo layers, you can put logos on there and stuff like that. So once you guys do all that stuff, we're going to go ahead and uh, show you how to put it all together in uh, PowerDirector. Okay, we've uh, already uh, put everything together the way we want our layout to look like. Um, everything is good to go. Now the whole big, now now the fun part is getting it, uh, putting it all together in a video. So we're going to go ahead, uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, First off, you want to go ahead and uh, open up your photo director, photo, your power director, open up CyberX Fire Director, um, find where your video is, add your video, okay, it'll have a plus sign, you add your video, okay. Now we're going to go ahead into, we're going to go back, uh, we're going to hit layers, uh, there's going to be a double square button on the top left hand corner of your screen, hit image, 
okay and we're gonna find the image that we just uh, saved okay and we're going to find the image that we just did for uh, for the, uh, the layout basically the layout that we just did uh, make sure everything's on the timeline okay you're gonna see two little you're gonna first off you want to adjust everything make sure everything fits on the screen so we're going to adjust it. It has little size handles on the, on the top of it. So just click on it and uh, readjust it um, to, the, to where the video is going to be. Okay. Um, adjust it right around the video. So that's what, pretty much what it's going to look like um, during after the video. You know, uh, once it'll play, it'll play it with the video. So the whole idea of this is um, you're going to see like little blue circles around the layout around that section. So what you want to do is uh, you want to stretch that to the whole video. I know this, it's going to be very tedious. It's very you have to drag that whole thing, um, that whole layout. The reason why you want to do that is so that um, it plays throughout the whole video without it, uh, lo without losing it. So the best you can use uh, Kind Master also for this. Um, I just decided to download PowerDirector. Um, you'll see in the video um, that you'll see in the video that you need to stretch it out because if you don't stretch it out, it won't. Uh, it it doesn't show the rest of the. It doesn't show the rest of the uh, of the layout. So what you gotta do is long press it and then drag it. You have to manually drag it all the way to the length of the video, which is very, very annoying. So um, that's the only thing I don't like about it. Um, just You just kind of pretty much keep going for the length of the video. Uh, just use uh, a sample video here. I couldn't use my, I don't know what happened. I did my Supercar video and it didn't work. I'm going to show you what it looks like with the Supercar video. And it's, um, yeah, just, just keep dragging the thing, dragging it, dragging it, dragging it, dragging it. And keep dragging it all the way, just long, uh, long press and drag it. You want to make sure it goes all the way to the end of your video, so uh, it, it goes fluid with your video that you have. Uh, Power Director is probably the best one to use. Um, that's my recommendation. Um, so that way your layout, you, everybody can see your layout and it stands out. So um, just pretty much go ahead and do that. Let's keep uh, repeat that process until you uh, you get to the end of the video, the end of the clip of the video. And then uh, once you do that, so you just you just keep doing that. Okay, you're gonna go on the right uh, bottom right hand corner of the screen to produce your video. Make sure you hit share on YouTube. Okay, um, don't hit full HD. Hit HD. Um, hit next. Okay, then you're gonna hit next again. You're gonna hit next. Okay, it'll say before sharing to YouTube, please note that your video will be removed once share on YouTube. Just hit OK for that. Okay, it's going to prepare your video for you. And then it's going to upload it to your YouTube channel. So that's the best way to do it, to upload to your YouTube channel um, your layout. And there you go, guys. Um, you have your layout ready to go um, right with your video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Hopefully it made sense to you. Um, this is the first time that I was doing it, so um, I did the best I could to explain it. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope that this tutorial helped you out. Thank you so much, and uh, take it easy, have a good one, and uh, have a happy Thanksgiving and a happy Black Friday. Take it easy, guys. Peace out.